exactly that here today. Let's play pickleball. Zero, zero. Passing shot right out of the gate from Catherine Parento, and you know that Parento and Athena were studying that tape yes. from Leah Jansen last weekend. And credit to Leah, she one zero. She was right there. Two, she was two match right points. there and matched the elite talent level that she needed to to perform at that level. And she's been right Knocking there. Knocking out the door. She she medals every time she plays singles. Do you know how hard that is? Yes. You're going to have an off day somewhere. She, she doesn't get as much credit as she might deserve. Wow, that was hammered. Side out. One zero. Side out. And Catherine would love nothing more than to end her zero triple one. crown threat the way Anna Lee ended hers. She's got that opportunity right here. Point. And that is a wicked two handed backhand. And again, it's the difference. The margins aren't a lot. When we say down the middle, we're talking one the one. white line is your target, but it's got to be deep. Side out. Serves just I a little deep, and Anna Lee's looking for some support or thoughts on whether she should challenge from her bench, but one, one. Uh, confirmed out. Side out. One, one. There's what happens. You think, wow, I hit a great return in the corner, and you are giving up angle. And that is a terrific ball from Anna Lee Waters. Anna Lee last lost a championship match on this court. Mm. <laughs> what a shot from Catherine Parento, earning the serve right back. And it came after a approach shot right down the middle. So depth and in the middle has been what sort of neutralized all of the wickedness One, of Anna Lee. Ooh, bounce off the net, ties it up for Parento. This is best two out of three because of the singles two, round. Two. That is how it goes here on Championship Sunday. Side what an out. angle on that return, almost a clean winner. Wow. The other thing Jansen did was two, two. tested Annalie Waters north and south, and we know how good her later, lateral movement is east-west. Point. Yes, if she's defending back behind the baseline, those drop volleys or those cuts, she did a lot of cut severe angle volleys. And in singles, you don't have a partner to come help dig those out. So, so there's the formula right there. That's it. Side out. Aggressive return in the middle, come in behind it. It's execution of that is easier said three, than three. done. Wow, another cutting volley there from Parento ties it up. Yeah, because why let Anna Lee just run her along the baseline and get chance after chance to pass three, three. you, bring her forward. You might get a winner. You're certainly taking, adding steps to her full week on the court. So just Side back out. for Parento. The lob, the, I mean, it was her only option she was, there. Yeah, but she was in jail, so that was Is there chance. a way to incorporate the lob in singles effectively here? Oh, oh, oh Parento had it. One more slide step there, and she'd have been in good shape. Uh, not a lot. I mean, it's usually going to be defensive here because you're never in a position like in tennis where they're an inch from the net and you Four can throw three. a topspin lob over their head. That's a rare sighting. You know, some people maybe try a third shot law, but again, that's going to be very few and far between. 
But the drop volley, on the other hand, that seems more and more. A recipe for success. Three, four. Wow, what a passing shot from Parento. The former Michigan State Spartan tennis player putting on a clinic here in singles. This one is neck and neck. And the scamper to get the one-handed backhand before this passing shot was absolutely fantastic. Ooh. Point. Just barely missed for Waters. Parento up by one. Receiver, Waters, by four. the way, six. Catherine Parento, the two seed on Annalie Waters. These two played together earlier today. And Catherine Parento has to play a near perfect game to take down the coveted Annalie Waters. Four, five. Just wide Side for out. Annalie. Return down the middle, first volley down the middle. Five, four. Again, discipline. Nope, not that Side time. Out. And these are those moments where you don't really remember, but you look back at a match, a backhand just missed down the line, inside out forehand four, just five. missed here, where Parento could have separated just a little bit. Wow, Annalie, oh my goodness. That was just too good down the line off of a stellar deep middle return from Catherine yes. Parento. She executed that part of the game plan accordingly. Waters showing why she is the five, best five. of the best. <laughs> Point. Six, five. Side out. Five, six. Just Point. missed. She had it wide open. Parento ties it up. Momentum six, six. swinging on both sides. Ooh. That was a close return, yeah. just barely flirting with Catherine danger there. Back over her shoulder there, like, did that really catch? But too late then. Six, six. Ooh, too good from Annalie Waters. Takes a break off the net and a one-point lead. Seven, six. Wow. Timeout receiver, eight, six. Uh, dynamic when eight, six. the three disciplines are so different. Passing shot for Parento brings a serve back on her side. So you saw that time, Annalise's first volley went into a corner and six, that eight. gave Parento options. Wow. Side out. That's an unbelievable shot from Annalie Waters out of the corner. Eight, six. about that shot from Catherine Parento digging deep to stay in this opening game. Six, eight. Point. Seven, eight.
Seeing shot for Annalie Waters cross court. My goodness. Eight seven. Point. Nine seven. Point. Time out receiver. Ten seven. On the ground. Got to grind Come out in. a great return here. Ten seven. Catherine Parento poured her heart into that one, but Annalie, Annalie Waters, and she is so tough to beat for many reasons. Game one showed exactly why. So, back to the blueprint right there. Return in the middle, come forward, put the pressure on. Such a good read from AL there because Catherine has options. The challenge there is Catherine wants to get that ball shorter and down so that Anna zero, Lee zero. has to play that off a of bounce if at all. Point. And it is unreal the difference between just a foot or two to the left or right of center is enough of an angle to change everything. One zero. Point. 2-0. Another two-point lead for Waters at the start of game two. Point. Timeout uh -oh. receiver, 3-0. Perrette. Presses here. Harder. It was much harder for her to get pace on the ball past Leia, so don't forget that little element of the blueprint. Nail played a ball that was going to be a foot wide there, so uh, gets a break. Zero three. question is, did Catherine look at the footage of her beating Anna Lee, True. which was different than what Leia did last week? It's a great point. And, and what was her recipe? And overcompensate, meaning going immediately into the air quotes new blueprint on how you almost beat AL. <laughs> Couple misses here because Catherine being Zero aggressive four. was the key to that match, and she was the first strike putting pressure on all over the court. Let court. Catherine Parento gets on the board for the first time in this second game. She needs a One push. Four. Annalie Waters giving her no help. Well, got to take him how you can get him, Dave. Two, four. That's Point. a pretty recovery from Catherine here and a nice little run. Three, four. A big rip from Annalie Waters. Yeah, parent have frustrated on the first volley there, but made pretty good contact, just didn't get it all the way back to the baseline, and then, then you're Four guessing three. and in trouble. Point. Annalie Waters. A woman on a mission. 
Yeah, great job there, knowing that Parento is probably going to come running across and Five, try and three. cover the forehand side. Just dropped it behind her. Point. <laughs> Timeout receiver. Six, that three. paddle is takes so that's Time gone. In. Six three. The return's just not deep enough, and that's the problem because Anna Lee's getting to the ball before you even get Seven to the three. kitchen line, beyond the fact that she's striking the ball inside the baseline. Down the line for Captain Parento. That shot will do it. Gets the serve back on her side. Yeah, she chose to stay seven. back there, Mish, so we'll see if... She mixes that in a little bit, unless she's sure to come forward. She gets to everything. Oh my goodness, there's no ball that Emily Waters can't get to. Nearly no ball, I should say. Catherine Parenti Waters and Annalie Waters, one here together last year. Side out. Parenta just couldn't get set. Could you think, okay, I got to cover cross court and she went back into that backhand corner. And even though Parenta was there, it wasn't four. properly set with the feet. Caused the error. Passing shot and a whip of a backhand it was. Yeah, now you're guessing. You saw Parenta just like jump awkwardly to the right, hoping she was guessing right, and that is a very uncomfortable position for a singles pickleball player. <laughs> okay, there's Captain Parento finding some openings. Anna Lee that tried to drop volley, but this quickness of Parento to be able to come forward and then look at the ability to put the paddle in the right place and just find a nice angle, well done. Wow, just painting the sideline, what more can you say? Again, don't give the angle, but uh, that's, pick your poison. Eight, four. And Parento right back in. Gets the serve back on her side. Trails by four. Needs something on this possession to get a chance back in game two. Not clean at all, but she'll take it. Okay, getting a little more interesting. Down by two, Catherine Parento Six, is back in. Side out. Yeah, that was a big opportunity right there. Had a look at a forehand. It was deep, good return, but that's when you want to capitalize. Eight, six. Just barely misses the baseline. Nine six. Oh. Oh. Catherine Parento not going away just yet. That sliding slap down the line there was exquisite from that woman right there to stay in game two here. Oh, some tricks in the bag for Captain Parento. Yeah, it goes a little fancy inside out there and then 
curls it cross court. Seven, nine. She's just yelled out, stop it. She had a punch volley on the backhand and the last time she had it, and a nice forehand volley there. And again, we talked about those couple Inches. spots Seven. in the game one. Here they are again in game two. Oh my. What a point. Point of the match so far. Wow. And championship point now on the side of Annalie Waters. And that was the one when the ball kissed over the tape that she had a chance. And there's what she's frustrated about. 10-7. 